Hey everyone, Alex is here from Lidefence and this video is going to be about blades. Lidefence offers a vast variety of different blades and for a beginner or simply someone who is not familiar with Lidefence products, it could be hard to find a pair for themselves. So besides different colors and patterns, there are three main types. Fiberglass, carbon fiber sandwich and pure carbon fiber. A popular question that we receive is what food pockets are compatible with Lidefence blades? And we know that our blades fit Omer Stingray, Picasso, Pathos, Marius Razor and Cressy Gara foot pockets. However, it has to be said that the original Lidefins foot pockets are the best fit and we recommend using them to get the best experience. Here on the table I have Blue Camo Blade, which is fiberglass, Carbon Fiber Sandwich, you can see it has white ribs, and Pure Carbon Fiber with red ribs. Now all of them have medium stiffness and a standard blade angle of approximately 20 degrees. It has to be said that when you order fins on our website, they come assembled with foot pockets already installed. When you order blades, they of course come without foot pockets and without holes drilled in them. Now this blue camo blade has holes in it because initially it had been ordered as a fin and I removed the foot pocket especially for this video. In order not to confuse you too much with technical stuff, I'll try to explain their differences in simple terms. So fiberglass blade, as the name suggests, is made of fiberglass and a high quality mixture of epoxy resin. Basically, it's fiberglass soaked with epoxy resin under specific conditions. By using different techniques, we can make fiberglass blades semi-transparent, like ice fins for example, black, like Ibis Pro, or add some camouflage, like blue camo over here. Carbon fiber is a bit different. We also call it sandwich because of the way it's made. So in the middle of the blade we have fiberglass and top and bottom layers are carbon fiber. The stiffness of the blade is achieved by addition of the fiberglass layers between the top and bottom layers of carbon fiber. It's quite hard to notice on the soft fins, but if you take medium or hard, you would see a whitish layer of fiberglass in the middle, over here, where is the thickest place of the blade. Pure Carbon is our best model and one of the most popular, especially amongst professionals. It's made of carbon fiber and epoxy resin, without any fiberglass, and so no whitish layer over here in the middle. This makes it the lightest and the most reactive. Pure Carbon also has a 3D Lidofins logo sticker over here, and also at the back you can see a sticker that says Pure Carbon. There's a myth that carbon fiber is fragile and way less durable than fiberglass. And a lot of people are afraid of buying carbon fiber blades because of that. And actually, that's not entirely true. Carbon fiber as a material has a much higher stiffness than fiberglass. And hence, in order to make blades of the same stiffness, for example medium, the manufacturer has to use way more fiberglass than carbon fiber. This makes carbon fiber blades thinner and also lighter. Soft carbon fiber blades have a very thin blade tip, almost like a razor blade, and this fact makes them a bit more fragile than fiberglass. However, if handled with care, both fiberglass and carbon fiber blades will serve you for a long time. Again, in simple terms, we can assess the performance of the blade as the amount of thrust you get in return for a certain amount of force you apply during the kick. Now let's make a simple test to compare these three blades. All of them have medium stiffness. First is fiberglass. Second is carbon fiber sandwich. And last but not least is pure carbon fiber. Pretty sure that you can hear and see the difference here. So in terms of performance, pure carbon gives you the most thrust for the same force applied comparing to two other blades. To conclude, fiberglass blades are the cheapest, the heaviest and out of all three types they hold the third place for performance. That being said, it may sound that fiberglass is not a good choice, but that's not true. They are still very good blades, they are the most durable 
and probably the best choice for beginners and regular users who are not planning to dive too deep or break records. Carbon fiber sandwich is in the middle. It's a bit lighter than fiberglass, it has better performance but also more expensive. And at the top of the line is pure carbon fiber. It's the lightest and has the best performance. It has to be said that fiberglass, carbon fiber sandwich and pure carbon fiber are all robust and durable materials, but not as plastic or rubber, and hence they should be handled with care. Avoid hitting them against stones, rocks, corals, ocean floor and etc. And everything would be fine. That concludes the video about blades. If you liked it, please click that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.